Welcome back. Cisco Morris is definitely a state treasure, and that was so apparent when we put out a call for gardening questions on Facebook. In this segment of Ask Cisco, he's talking about camellias and poinsettias. Melissa Waltz asks, I have a camellia that has been planted for five years and has never bloomed. It gets a few buds on it, then a freeze causes them to fall off. This year, she says, I have dozens of buds. How can I protect them? Oh man, you've got the wrong camellia. Some camellias are hardier than others and some just can't take cold hardly at all. It freezes those little buds, you never get flowers. This could go on for years. The problem is, even if you wanted to move that camellia to maybe a warmer spot or something, they don't move well. So I have got the solution. This thing right here is called Frost Protect. I get it from Charlie's Greenhouse. You can see it's got some cinch cords that you can tighten up to tighten it around the plant. This is the biggest one they sell. I, you could put six of me in this thing right here. So you'll cover your chameleon with this. And this is supposed to raise the ambient temperature inside by eight degrees. That should be enough to keep those uh, little buds from freezing. Now, what you gotta do is keep a close eye on your camellia check now and then. When you see the first buds start to open, get this off and for once, you should be able to see a beautiful floral display on your camellia. Margaret Troppel says, I still have my Christmas poinsettias. What should I do to have them bloom this winter? Margaret, you're in luck. You couldn't have timed that better because poinsettias have to experience 14 hours of total darkness for a period, usually starting in early October, in order to bloom for the holidays. So any way you can keep them in total darkness for 14 hours will work, but keep this in mind. If any light hits them at any time before buds form on the plant, then that'll delay the blooming for about a year. So how can you do this? Well, if it's not too big, you can make something like this. I just stick it over the poinsettia. It keeps it total darkness. I don't forget it's there because you got to put it out in direct sunlight every day in order for this to work. Now, uh, once they get the buds, you don't have to do it anymore. But if you got a big poinsettia, you can't put it under a box like that. You're probably going to have to put it in a, a back closet or something like that. And remember this, last time I did it last year, my wife Mary said, don't you think you should put a sign on the door of the closet saying, don't open this door, dim, dim? I said, who's gonna open the door? It's just you and me here. Oh la la, I be the dim, dim. <laughs> it's easy to forget. So put that side, don't open the door, give them, and you're gonna to get to enjoy beautiful flowers on your poinsettia for the holidays. Thank you, Cisco. If you have a gardening question for Cisco, ask it on our Facebook page. He might answer it on the show.